Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another spring decorate with me. I think this is gonna be more of an Easter decorate with me since it is closer to Easter and I've already done a spring decorate with me. But I felt super motivated to redecorate my house using things that I already owned because I can't leave my house. I do have a few like new stuff that I never used um, from like my last spring decor and I just haven't gotten a chance to return because of the quarantine that's going on. So I decided to just go ahead and use them as well as some items that I was trying to save for like my summer decorate with me. So I have old stuff, a little bit of new stuff and I thought we might as well decorate. So this will be filmed in two parts. The first part is going to be my dining room slash coffee bar area and the next part will be my kitchen and my living room because this time around I really want to go into detail showing you guys my thought process behind decorating. Hopefully this will help you guys out and give you guys some inspiration. So let's get on right into it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you stick around till the end of this video because I will be announcing the next giveaway that I'm having and the rules to enter. So if you guys want to be entered into the pastel pink Nesbert house giveaway, watch until the end and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Let's get to decorating. Okay everyone, so this is the two-tiered tray display that I decided to go with. If you guys haven't seen that video, I decorated this tray in four different ways with things that I already owned or I had laying around in my house. But this ultimately really made me change my mind as to changing my decor once more because I absolutely love how it came out. I love the colors. I love the pop of orange and light coral. I just loved absolutely everything about it. The only thing that changed since that video, again, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll link it up above in the iCar. But the only thing that changed is I did add these pink little like florals right there. And then I also added the yellow ones back here in my Ray Dunn cream little thing. And that is how it turned out. Again, I absolutely love it and this gave me the inspiration for the rest of my house. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get to decorating the top shelf of my coffee corner. Okay, so these are the items that I have to decorate that shelf up there. And I have basically these I used in my last decorate with me, but I just have this quote. It just says, someday everything will make perfect sense. For now, laugh at the confusion, smile through the tears, and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason. I think I really want this visible right now, especially during these days that have been pretty hard. But then I also have this window frame with some chicken wire that I stained. I did a very poor job, you guys, but when it's layered, you can't really tell. So I did use both of these items in my last decorate with me and I wanna keep them, but I did wanna change a few things. So one thing that I learned and I noticed is I used to be afraid of using black because my house was already dark enough and I felt like black made it look even darker, but as you guys can tell, I have certain like black pieces around my house. So I noticed that it pops out a lot more against the white walls. So I decided to take this out. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And my idea is to put some florals in here. And then I am moving my little bird cage that I got from Michaels to this top shelf. I hope it fits. But the idea is because even though this is going to go against the white wall, most likely it'll end up in front of the picture frames. And then next to like a black accent, it might like look better than it did when it was just up against a white wall. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the florals arranged in both of these and then put everything together and see what we're missing. Okay, so I already bunched up my florals in like the bunches that I think I want to go ahead and use. So I'm just going to go ahead and arrange them in these little envelopes because
Okay, so one thing that I can say that I've learned after like decorating with florals for a year now is I usually try to be like as symmetrical as possible. So right here in this instance, I have some long eucalyptus leaves sticking out this way. So I have some long eucalyptus leaves sticking out this way. The tulip on this one sticks out this way. The tulip on the bottom one sticks out this one. You don't really always have to do this, but I, I, I have found that I usually like it more when it's done like that. So that is gonna be this arrangement. And once it's up, I'll usually play around with it a little bit, but that's good for now. Now in this bird cage, all I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna fill it up with some florals. I'm gonna do basically the same thing. I have a bunch of different types of florals right here. So I have some eucalyptus that I took off from a like garland so i'm just gonna put this in here and i do want like some of the leaves to pop out of the cage i just kind of want it to look like a bird cage that was abandoned outside so like it got an overgrowth of flowers inside of it so that is the look that i'm going for and again i'm just gonna go ahead and use different florals leftover florals and put them in there. Just like that. And again, I'll play around with it a little bit more once it's up on the shelf. That is it. Okay, so I brought you guys up high as I could. I hope you guys can see. Let me go ahead and just adjust you guys a little bit. But the first items that I'm going to put up is the frames that I showed you guys. So I know I want this one to be like very visible or at least as much of it as I can. And then this one I, is going to be like the back layering piece. So like this. Now when I'm layering pieces like that towards the middle, I try to make sure that they're as like evenly spread out as possible. So the same amount of white space on that side is the same to this side. Now these want to keep falling over. So I'm going to put the next item back up. So this is going to be the next item I'm going to layer. I want to layer it over here. So again, just trying to keep as much as of this coat visible and then I'll just play around with it a little bit more, but I actually really like how it looks so far. And that's it. The next item is going to be this bird cage. So I'm hoping it fits right here and it fits. It does fit. Okay, so that is everything I had planned. Um, but it's looking a little bit empty on this corner. Again, it looks very heavy on that corner. So I know that I need something for over here. I just don't know what. I still have tape right here. So I'm going to go ahead and figure that out. And I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So I found this a little stool. I haven't used this in a while. And I actually used it a lot last year. So I figured this would add some height over here on this corner and I think I'm right about that if it fits I don't think it's going to fit okay there we go so then now this is another wood element and it kind of looks plain like that so because I am using greenery in all of my other pieces so I use greenery right there greenery right there I did find this a little greenery piece right here and I thought it would be cute because my whole idea with that is looking like it was a bird cage that was abandoned in a garden. I thought it'd be cute to have a bird outside of the bird cage so kind of like if it had escaped or something like that. I don't know. I just thought it was a cute idea. So I'm just going to have it sitting up here and I actually think that looks really really cute. I feel like it looks very even and I like it overall. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mugs down here. I think I'm gonna not use my colored mugs, my pastel mugs. I think I just wanna go for my white um, Easter mugs because I think it's just gonna be much cleaner. And since I'm already using a lot of colors with like the different florals, I wanna keep this nice and simple. Found a 
Okay, so this is what the coffee bar ended up looking like. I absolutely love how everything turned out. I think it really reflects what I was going for. Again, I wanted to stick to that garden theme, but I just wanted to make it a little bit warmer and less chaotic with a lot of like pastel colors. I'm trying to stick to that pop of coral. So that is what it looks like. Now I need to go ahead and come up with some type of centerpiece for my dining room table that matches this theme. Okay, so these are the items that I have to make a centerpiece. The main thing that inspired me is I found this basket on top of my fridge. I forgot that I had it. I actually used it to display some radon plates, but I thought it would be cute to make some type of centerpiece with this and change it up a bit from what I've had in the past. So then I have these like eggs left over from the two tier tray that I did and they're just like the moss and like the cardboard eggs and then I just threw in this egg because it's a light coral color and like I said I want to try to stick to this color again excuse my nails I'm sorry they are terrible in this video but uh, nail salons are closed as we all know and then I have some more tulips right here I have a set of four and they're that like light coral color and I have this little galvanized tin I got from Hobby Lobby last year. It still even has the tag, but got that. I have this bunny. It used to be in my old centerpiece that I did for my spring home tour. So I'm keeping that one. Decided to bring in some radon. I hope I can fit everything in, but I have this flower vase and then this grow water mister have some greenery here that I can possibly use have this a terracotta pot and you guys can tell that it's used it's like I actually found this in my house because we um, planted oregano one year and then ghost peppers another year so I'm just repurposing that I figured I can just use like the side without the words on it and then I have this little cement planter again just trying to play with a different like um Material so I have cement terracotta. I have ceramic. I have again cement. I have galvanized I think when you play around with all of the those materials it just looks very earthy and Nature like so that is my goal is to make a cute like I think it's called vignette I'm not sure for my dining room table Okay, so Let me try to move everything out of the way so you guys can see kind of hard so I know that I want the bunny to be like in the middle I'm gonna probably have to move a lot of these things because it probably won't make sense I probably want this right here or right here I don't know where does it fit I'll put this one like back here and then I do know that I wanted the planters to look like they had fallen over, but I want them to kind of sort of look stacked. So something like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. Um, this little galvanized planner, I'll probably put back here. Again, like it was tipped over. And then I'm just gonna fill it up with some greenery. I feel like I want, I don't know. That looks cute. Okay. So I, I like how this looks. I I don't know. I feel like something's missing. Maybe I can put all these flowers in here, obviously, right? Okay, 
so I really like how it looks so far the thing is I feel like because these plants are like sticking they're sticking out in a weird way but I feel that because specifically ah I can't get it specifically this little leaf you guys can see right here is sticking out this way I feel like there should be something sticking out this way so I added this little leaf right here to the galvanized tin but I don't think that's enough I feel like it doesn't look long enough I'm just gonna add these little pieces back here just like that okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these eggs. I think it would look cute to have them in here just so it like covers some of like the emptiness inside there so you can't actually see it. So something like that. I'm gonna put this one in the front just to add that pop of coral that we have going on up here. And then these ones I'll just go ahead and just randomly I don't know, randomly lay in here, just like that, I don't know. Something like that. Okay, so I really like how this looks so far, but because I have some coral here, a coral up here, I feel like there's something missing on this side. So I'm gonna take one of these flowers, I'm gonna put these back in here, just like that. Oh, they're sticky. And I think I'm going to add this one, I'm hoping in here, to, um, to cover that like empty space that there is. Just like that. Oh, that looks so cute. I actually really like it. Aww. Maybe turn this one just a little bit. Yeah, that looks so cute. Oh. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the table real quick and then show you guys what it looks like with the coffee bar. Okay, everyone, this is a final look of how it turned out. This is the coffee bar and slash dining room. I think it looks so, so cute. I'm sorry that my light keeps changing. The light keeps coming. I mean, the sun keeps coming. And out and in and and that is how it turned out Alrighty, you guys, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some decor inspiration for your own homes. And I also hope you guys enjoyed the new style of video that I did. I just thought it would be nicer and more convenient if I actually explained my thought process behind how I decorate and why I do certain things when I'm decorating. And yeah, just let me know what you guys think down below. But if you guys like the style of video and would like to see the other half of my house be decorated so my kitchen and my living room make sure you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you are notified of my upcoming video which will be the same style of video but decorating my kitchen and my living room and yeah I think that is basically it I hope you guys enjoyed it but as I mentioned at the beginning of this video I am doing a giveaway for this pink it's a pastel pink birdhouse it has like the little window indents. It says a nest. And yeah, this giveaway is going to be open from uh, today, starting today to a week from today. And I will go ahead and announce the winner in my home tour, like my next home tour. So make sure you hit that notification bell, like I said. And the rules to enter this giveaway are pretty simple. So first off, be subscribed if you haven't subscribed i would really really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button um thumbs this video up it really helps my video be pushed out and it lets me know that you guys enjoyed my content and if you can i would really appreciate it if you share my video on any of your social media again this helps push out my channel i really love doing this videos you guys so it would mean the world to me if you guys can share it with your family with your friends if you guys like the video 
so yeah so just be subscribed thumbs up this video share if you can and just leave me a comment down below letting me know you want to enter the giveaway or letting me know what you know decoration part you like the most any comment will automatically enter you into the giveaway so yeah other than that you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you guys in my new one and until then i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and stay safe wash your hands and i will see you next time bye